This After Effects tutorial is made possible by Skillshare. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create a logo reveal animation with a touch of neomorphism in After Effects. Now, for those who don't know about neomorphism, it is a trending UI design style slash concept you might find on most UI design communities these days, like on Behance, Dribble, that many designers are talking about. It is a combination of flat design and skeuomorphism design that makes UI elements softer and elegant to the user eyes. So I thought why not try to use this style for creating a logo animation in After Effects and it turned out to look very nice. So let me show you how you can create this using very simple yet cool techniques in After Effects. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this main just like we always do 1920 into 1080 30 fps in 10 seconds long hit OK. So here we have our main comp. Let's add a nice background. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for a background hit OK. Now here I have a color color codes for my color palette. You can of course use any colors that you want or if you want I'll mention this in the description or in the comments below so you can you know use the same color codes and by the way the project file will be absolutely free so you can download the complete project file as well. So let's copy this color code go into effects and preset and type in fill double click to apply that up and let's hit Control V to copy paste the color code and there we go. Now let's select the ellipse tool and for the stroke I'm going to go with 150 and we don't need any fill so you can click on fill and set this to none hit OK. Let's hold Control and Shift at the same time to create a perfect circle just like that and let's go into ellipse 1 ellipse path 1 and set the size to 500. Now the reason you can't see the circle is because we have the same color on the circle and the background so we need to add a nice drop shadow and highlight to create that very elegant neomorphism effect. So I'll select layer hit right click and go into layer styles and add a drop shadow. Now the reason I'm not using the typical drop shadow effect is because in this drop shadow we get number of different settings like the noise the spread and you know this is very helpful while creating a very elegant drop shadow so that you can add noise to avoid any kind of color bendings. So for the drop shadow color again I'm going to use a different color that I have right here hit Control C to copy that color code and Control V to paste it up. Also bring down the opacity to 10% set the angle to 130 let's increase the distance to around 50 and increase the size to 80 and right off the bat you can see we get this very nice and elegant look but as you can see on the top our circle blends in with the background so we need to create a separate highlight for that and now for that I'm going to use the typical drop shadow so I can just double click to apply that up actually select the layer and double click there we go let's set this to white and opacity i'll go with 100 percent and let's set the direction to minus 60 and for the distance let's go with 20 and for the softness i'll go with 100 and bam now you can see we have this very nice and elegant drop shadow and highlight creating the very nice and simple neomorphism effect on our circle before I proceed further with this tutorial, let's take a look at today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. So now we can go ahead and animate this. So to animate it, I'm going to use 
trim path so go into add and add a trim path let's go to three seconds create a keyframe on the end property and the offset also i will create a keyframe on the stroke so let's create a keyframe on the stroke with go at the very beginning let's select layer and hit u so we can just see the keyframes set the stroke to zero end property to zero and offset to minus 180 and now we should have this very nice and elegant animation now you can go with this choppy look if you want to but i would like to go with a rounded cap so i'll go into stroke and set this from butt cap to round cap so it looks much more nicer and that is actually looking very nice pretty cool let's select this layer hit ctrl d duplicate it put this below hit u two times to reveal the size and then we can increase the size just like so something like that maybe i can go with 900 or 800 or somewhere between like 850 yep that looks much better as you can see let's select this again hit ctrl d put this below hit u two times and let's increase the size and i'm just gonna eyeball this but you can go with precise numbers like maybe 1200 yep that looks perfect let's create one more copy hit ctrl d pull this below u two times and let's increase this again so something like 1500 no like 1550 maybe yeah perfect and let's create actually one more hit ctrl d pull this below hit u and let's increase the size something like that maybe 1900 perfect so now we have this very elegant look now you can go with the same you know pattern if you want to but i want to create some little bit of randomness between them so what i'll do is actually i'll rotate them but one thing we need to make sure is now if i rotate that you can see the circle doesn't rotate properly so we need to move all the anchor point into the center and a quick shortcut is a whole control and double click on the pan behind tool to move the anchor point into the center so i can maybe select everything and let's have the anchor point in the center and now i am free to rotate this so let let's hit r and rotate this just like that i'm gonna do this very randomly something like so so now we have a little bit of variation as you can see and this looks pretty nice now at the moment the animation is pretty stiff so let's hit ctrl a to select them all hit u and then i can actually select all the keyframes just like that hit f9 to ease ease those keyframes go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph then select this point hold shift and drag the handle actually hold ctrl and drag the handle to the left just like that so we have a much more uh, you know elegant animation so let's see what we get yep that is looking very nice let's actually preview this as you can see pretty nice now let's go ahead and add our logo so i'll create a new composition for the logo let's call this logo your comp and change the width and height to 500 by 500 hit ok drag and drop in the logo here i'm using my mean machine logo let's go back drop that logo comp in the main composition and let's hit s and let maybe i'll set this to 50 percent align it into the center actually just like that i'll go with maybe 35 should be proper yep that looks much better now for the logo color i'm gonna go with a different color so select the logo go into effects and preset and type in fill double click to apply the fill effect and i'm gonna go with the third color code that i have 
let's hit control V to paste that up and as you can see that looking very nice now I'm gonna copy paste the layer styles from here and paste it onto my logo so let's copy the layer styles hit control C control V to paste that up and also let's copy the drop shadow so hit control C and control V so as you can see we get this very nice highlight on our shadow as well now make sure your drop shadow is below the fill not on the top and that is looking pretty good also I'm going to select the shape layer that we have hit control D to duplicate it call this logo BG because we need a nice background circle for our logo I'm going to bring down the stroke to zero and let's add a fill with the same color actually so I'm going to hit OK hit U two times and let's pull down the size of this now I'm going to remove the animation from the stroke width and pull that down so as you can see this is looking very nice let's go with 300 okay perfect now I'm going to animate the circle as well so I can go right here at three seconds select the logo background hit S create a keyframe go back to maybe one second and set this to zero select this hit F9 go into graph editor and let's pull this again just like that so we have a circular animation as well now let's go ahead and animate our logo so I'll go somewhere around maybe 2 seconds and 15 frames select the logo hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe pull that keyframe to 3 seconds and let's move this up just like that so we have a very simple animation now to make it look a very nice and elegant look now to give this logo a very interesting look I will be using an expression so I'm going to copy that expression hold alt and click on the position stopwatch and hit control V to paste that expression and now we have added a little bit of overshoot animation to our logo by the way I got this expression from motionscripts.com which is an amazing script to get some very interesting expression for after effects and as you can see now we have this very cool little bit of overshoot right over here now you can play around with the frequency and delay to get your desired look if you want to play around and have some fun but I think this is a bit too slow so let's pull this keyframe a bit something like that let's see yep that looks much better now let's select this logo BG that we have hit control D to duplicate it call this mat and let's use this as a track mat for our logo so let's pull this on the top of our logo and change the track mat of the logo to alpha mat now we need to delete the drop shadow from here and there we go pretty cool so far so good so let's actually preview our complete animation so far okay one thing that I notice is here as you can see we get this weird line and that is because of the trim path so we don't need any trim trim path for our logo BG so I'm gonna delete that and that should be good so let's actually preview our animation and as you can see it is looking very nice and elegant that soft UI feel of the neomorphism is very nice and as you can see you can achieve some very cool effects using this technique you can play around with different colors as well so let's actually go ahead and add a little bit of more you know character to this design because at the moment it's pretty simple maybe too elegant 
so when the logo hits i want a color wave to appear so maybe somewhere around three seconds so what i can do is let's select the first layer create a keyframe on the fill so we need to actually add a fill on this so i'll go and let's apply a fill and by the way i'm going to use the same color that we have so actually instead of taking it from here i'll just copy paste the color code hit ctrl c ctrl v hit ok and now we can animate the fill so let's click on the stopwatch right here go maybe a few frames forward i think uh let's go with 15 frames and let's add uh, the second color with ctrl c ctrl v hit ok and also make sure your drop shadow is below the fill as you can see just like that hit u so we can see the keyframes go to four seconds and again let's copy paste this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v to get the same color so we have a just a fill up of one color we can select this and hit f9 to easy ease them so now i'll select all the three keyframes and pull this just like that so when it hits just like so maybe we need to move them a little bit let's see just to make sure the time is you know proper yep that is much better now i can select the fill hit ctrl c and paste them on all the other shape layers hit ctrl v to paste them up and one thing that i need to do again is pull the drop shadow below the fill in every layer probably i should have added the fill before you know adding the drop shadows and stuff but you know you can learn from this mistake anyways let's select all the layers hit u so we can see all the keyframes that we have and now i'm going to move all the fill keyframes by one to two frames so let's go with actually two frames so i'm going to hit page down to move two frames forward in time and let's pull this just like that again hit page down two times pull this keyframes again and one more time let's hit ctrl a to select them all hit u to close them all now let's see what we get yep that is the wave i wanted to go for pretty cool perfect so these are the small things that you know using which you can add a very interesting look to your complete logo animation so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was do let me know in the comment section below and also subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out